do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter human reproduction and in that we are studying topic asexual reproduction now asexual reproduction is the one in which one parent is involved let's study and find out today during asexual reproduction we all know that there is only one parent involved unlike sexual reproduction where two parents are involved and the classic examples of asexual reproduction could be regeneration in planaria or budding formation in hydra when one parents grew mitotically into two different progeny or offsprings and whenever this happens equal distribution of all the genetic material cytoplasm takes place so during a sexual reproduction process the process of vegetative reproduction could be also a sexual also regeneration or in planaria or you simply say it in hydra the reproduction that happens is a form of a sexual reproduction which is budding now there is only one single parent involved we all know that in hydra whenever there is a germule formation and this birds outgrows and forms another daughter birds so obviously one single parent is involved the progeny or the offspring is very similar or identical in terms of genetic makeup to that of their parent or pre-existing parent sponges flat worms are all such organisms that actually do the process of asexual reproduction now asexual reproduction does add a little bit variations here and there but sexual reproduction is the one that gives more hereditary characteristics also human beings never do a sexual reproduction vegetative propagation is also a type of a sexual reproduction your hydra planaria germule formation are kinds of a sexual reproduction so students in this part of the chapter we came across a sexual reproduction and i hope we all here are very clear with this concept thank you